Oh, hello, hello, dear friend. Thank you so much for watching and connecting with us. Today is Tuesday, September the 8th, 2020. From Odessa, we say hello to you. And thank you for connecting with Victory Church. Today is my privilege to be here with my dear brother, Chance Stout. How are you doing, Chance? I'm doing great. Happy to be here, Pastor. That's awesome. We are going to talk to you today about something interesting. But before we get there, we want to tell you how much we appreciate that you are watching and connecting with us. Today, 8 p.m. in the East Coast, 7 p.m. in Glorious, Texas, 5 p.m. in the West Coast, we are going to be talking about... Why do they forget so quickly the goodness of God? Why is that? Well, basically, I think that we're too focused on ourselves. And we are going to be discussing more about it. The, yeah. pre the purpose of our broadcast is to exalt the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you for being here with us. My brother Chance and myself, ready to be here with you, sharing this topic. We hope that you will have a good time with us this evening. And the contact information for our church is on the screen. If you want to connect with us, feel free to do it. The information is as follows. Info at vchurch.us, 2400 West 81st Street, Odessa, Texas, 79764. Phone number is 432-614-9798. The website is vchurch.us. And if you are watching through any of those platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, Periscope, the Roku channel, actually also in our website, don't forget to give us a uh, give us a thumbs up. Give us the heart, a thumbs up, and a comment would be great. Yeah, that would be great. Our podcast keeps growing, and it's our pleasure to tell you that you can easily subscribe just uh, look for Giancarlo's podcast and you will be able to get it. We have over 345 episodes today. But we are very, very pleased to tell you about our most recent audiobook. It is called Your Town. This is the story of Nina Boyles. She becomes a lady hero in this terrific CIA story. You can get it in magiancarlo.com. But if you are wondering about Victory Church, here's the information about it. If you want to worship God, we got you covered. Worship services are Sunday at 10 a.m. Bible study is Wednesday at 7 p.m. Vitamins from Heaven is Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Absolutely. And uh, right now, as we are broadcasting, we are in need of help. We would like to improve our equipment in order to provide a better broadcast for you. If you want to do it, please help us. Go on your browser to vchurch.us forward slash give. Or you can do it through a text message. The phone number is 432-268-0007. You specify the amount and the system will take you through it. Again, the topic of this evening is, why do they forget so quickly the goodness of God? Well, the first thing that we're going to talk is about examples we find in the Bible of people that forgot the goodness of God, brother. Yes, they did, they did. Uh, we will start with Adam and Eve. What happened with these two guys? You know, God told them, you know, there's one thing I don't want you to touch. <laughs> you one know? thing. One thing, out of everything. it was like your parents telling you, you know, <laughs> one thing you don't go in there and do, don't go in that room. And they went to the one thing God didn't want them to do, and they ate of the forbidden fruit, and sin came into the world. They forgot that. That quickly. And it was just like this, man. Well, and then their descendants, we know what happened with one of the kids. And finally, here is Noah now building an ark. And why was that? Well, Noah was the last one that God said, I can I find one good man on earth that's not committing sin? And he chose Noah. But the rest of the people were just nuts. Uh, they, they, were, they were sinning. They were doing things that were abomination to God. And, you know, uh, God decided to start over with, with a different generation of people 
that had the same spirit as Noah. True. Well, eventually the Lord saved humankind through Noah, right? Yes. And animals and all that. And uh, we know about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. They go to this new season with Joseph. They are in Egypt. They are slaves in Egypt. And now all the community is being saved through Moses to go to the promised land. And what happened then in the desert now? Well, the first thing they started doing is complaining. I have no food. I have no shelter. It's hot. Where are we going? There's no promised land out there. <laughs> Five minutes. I said, there's food back in Egypt. And, you know, it's, it's amazing how quickly we can forget. We forget the goodness of God. That is so sad. And I wonder, is that your case, my friend? Or do you know someone that forgot so quickly the goodness of God? You know, over 30-something years in ministry and in church, I have seen that over and over and over again. People that had nothing, eventually they become believers, they are close to God, and suddenly they forget everything about the Lord and the church. And then what? Boom, goon! <laughs> and you go off the cliff. Boom, goon, goon! <laughs> Why do they forget so quickly? That's interesting. But, uh, well... This question, it has to do entirely with what the Scripture tells us. So we are going to share with you a passage of be, the Scripture. Be careful. Don't forget the Lord your God. Be careful to obey the commands, laws, and rules that I give you today. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 11. Be careful is what the Lord says. And he says, I want you to don't forget me, right? God. The Lord doesn't want us to forget him, but he says, be careful to obey. Maybe, brother, that's the issue. I believe you're absolutely right. I believe that a rebellious spirit you know, can absolutely keep us away from God. You know, And God warns you. I, don't think, I mean, he's there for you. He loves you. He says, be careful. You know, are we careful? I, you know, most of the time we do what we want to do. We do our own thing. But I think this is an important scripture, you know, by going by, God, he said, go by mama laws and the rules that I give you today. And there's rules in the classroom of high school. There's rules everywhere. <laughs> and we want to break those rules. Well, you're going to end up in detention. <laughs> we don't want to end up there. <laughs> and, and this is the, the, big, the big question that I, that I have for everybody today is, Are you, my friend, obeying the Lord? Are you obeying what the Lord says to you today? Because, you know, I know that you remember God. You know, people know about God. It's not that they don't know. You talk to people and you say, do you believe in God? And they, they want to avoid the question. They, they want to avoid the conversations, don't they? Yes, they do. But, but they know about God. Oh, of course, yeah. Nobody really, in, especially here in our, in our areas, doesn't know about Jesus. They know about church in the Bible, right? Absolutely, they do. But the point is not that they don't know. They forgot about it. The point is they know that the Scripture is giving us commandments, and they don't want to do it. They don't want to obey. So that is the big question, perhaps, if we are obeying Or not. Okay? Now, what happens when we obey? What, hap what has happened to you every time you have, you have obeyed God? When I have obeyed God, I have been blessed beyond measure. I, I can tell you story after story. I won't go into it now. But just like anything else, you know, if you're obeying God, you're obeying your teacher. You're obeying your boss. You're doing things with excellence. God does the same thing. He blesses you. What the scripture says in Deuteronomy 8:12, Then you will have plenty to eat, and you will build good houses and live in them. Because there is a reward in obeying. But that, that is the thing that really is, is very confusing. Because I know, my friend, you, you know people that they have been blessed at some point in their lives by doing things right, by obeying God. But suddenly they just take off. And you are wondering, what in the world happened there? <laughs> this family, this guy, this girl, 
they were so blessed. What happened? You know, it's it's one of those things. People go to church, and the next thing you know, you don't see them anymore. You know, they, they, they get a nice house. They get a nice job. And they, I don't need God anymore. You know, they, they probably don't say that out loud, but that's what happens with their with their actions. You know, we, we, we don't want to forget that quickly of why we are where we are. It's true, and that is precisely the reason why we receive a warning from God. Now, this comes in the same book, chapter 8, verses 13 and 14. You will get plenty of gold and silver. You will have plenty of everything. When that happens, you must be careful not to become so proud. You must not forget the Lord your God. You were slaves in Egypt, but he made you feel free and brought you out of that land. There you go. Probably what is happening with many people is that uh, suddenly they just think that they made the, the well themselves, that they, they don't need God. And it's because of the result of the blessings. Is it possible that sometimes people forget God because they suddenly are so in love with certain things that they got? I think that's absolutely true. I mean, they... They, they get so many things and caught up in the traps of the world and what the world has to offer, you know, that, that they just com they completely forget about why they got what they got. And, I, and, and again, my friend, I have seen this so many times in church. You know, so many times it happened with young people and old people, with men, women, educated or non-educated. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the race It doesn't matter the ethnicity. It's just that little thing in their hearts. They are, they are just enjoying so much the new thing that they, are, they got. Suddenly they forgot God. And, you know, slowly they stop coming to church to the point that they, boom, they are gone. And you just, just wonder, what happened? <laughs> Where are And this happens a great deal. You know, you'll see four or five people one day. The next thing you know, you'll see 20. And, you know, of course, it, you got... Lots of turnout for Easter, you know, and there's right. some people go on Christmas time. Right. But what happens in between those those times? You know, we we're, we get so caught up. That's another thing, you know. I'd like to point out, pastors, that you know we get so busy in the in the movements of life and trying to struggle to survive that we don't realize our our provider is going to do it for us. As yes. long as we're in, in obedience. Correct. That's why he says to us, don't forget. Now, here in verse 17, this is what the scripture says. Don't ever say to yourself, I got all this wealth by my own power and ability. That's Deuteronomy 8, 17. Ooh, do you see? Maybe that is the issue. Some people that just don't see you, don't come anymore more to church, or they just are out of uh, any communication with the church. Maybe they are just thinking, you know, I, I, I got it. I'm doing it myself. It's my own power and ability. I don't need God. Ooh. Is it possible that's the problem too? It's definitely possible. <laughs> you know, these, these, these young men and young ladies today, they go to college, they get their job, they do everything that they think is right. And, you know, what I want to tell you is that, you know, all that kind of thing is you, you can come to a cliff. And we, we don't want to go over that cliff. You know, we want to be appreciative of, of what God's given us. Absolutely. And my friend, I'm happy that you are watching. And probably you, are, you, you have in mind many people that you know, you're thinking that is absolutely the truth. That is the problem. These guys, they have these things now. That's why they don't go to church at all. You know, and people can tell you that there are reasons for health reasons, the crisis and all that. And all that somehow makes sense. But when you think about their lives, really, the crisis has nothing to do with the fact that they are not coming to church. They just stopped coming to church. They were blessed, but suddenly they forgot. And you see a lot of people that have all this money and all these mansions and all these things, and you see these people on the media and the news. What happened to them? They're depressed. They're sad. Yeah. They have a hole in their heart. Yeah, absolutely. The, and, and precisely for that reason is that we need to remember that, my friend, remember this, 
you are not that great. No, 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 no. If you think you are great, no. This is what the scripture says, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Remember the Lord your God is the one who gives you power to do all these things. Who is the one giving you the power? The Lord. That's the problem, right? They forgot. Have you forgotten, my friend, that is the Lord, the one that is blessing you, that he is the one who gives you the power to do these things? Because many people, unfortunately, have forgotten that, and they just think, I'm so smart, I'm that clever. <laughs> they, they do, you're right. And it's, it's, it's you know, don't wait till you get to the end of your life. We want you to remember. This is a positive message. We want you to remember what God says. Every word in the Bible is true. Absolutely. But uh, there is also a final, final warning in the Scripture. And uh, it's in the same book, in the same chapter. It's now in the verse 18. Don't ever forget the Lord your God. Don't ever follow other gods or worship and serve them. If you do that, I warn you today, you will surely be destroyed. Oh, my friend, that is sad. But it's true. And I don't want to sugarcoat it, you anything here, okay? You know, we live in days that we, we love to talk about the grace of God. And we believe on, on that. You know, we are part of the grace of God, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We, are, we are saved by grace. We, everything we are and we possess and what we can do is by grace, by faith. But you cannot just cover your eyes and see and say, I don't see that part of the Bible. You know, you can cover your eyes, but that doesn't change anything. You know, it's like uh, kids, you know, when they, they get caught doing what is wrong and they cover their eyes, you know. It's like they think that mama cannot see them. <laughs> That's right. You know, that <laughs> doesn't exactly change right. anything. It's like you say, I don't want to see this scripture. Well, <laughs> it's sad, my friend, but it's true. You surely will be destroyed if you forget the Lord God. You will. Because the Lord doesn't like that. The Lord wants you close to him. Why some people forget God so quickly after all the great things he has done for them? Remember, we discussed this is in the whole chapter 8 here in Deuteronomy. It says, be careful to obey my commandments. So the, the lack of obedience in your heart could make you a rebel. And then as a result of that, terrible consequences. That's right. You're exactly right, you know. Um, and, you know, he's very to the point. He says, you will surely, he didn't say you're surely going to be hurt. You're surely going to mm -mm. uh, break your toe or get a cut. <laughs> he says, you're going to be destroyed. I know. And it happens. And will be. The same, the, the same situation that happened to, to Adam's descendants and everyone in the people of Israel that they didn't want to do the right thing through the journey going to conquer the land, and it has happened all the history of humankind, don't, don't make that mistake, my friend. You know what the Lord Jesus says in the chapter 15 of the Gospel of John? He says, separated from me, you won't be able to do anything. If you want to do life without the Lord Jesus Christ, you are mistaken. If you think that because you have a nice career or a nice business or a nice job and everything is going to be nice for you the rest of your life and you won't be in trouble at all, my friend, you are mistaken. The Lord said it clearly, separated from me, you won't be able to do anything. Do, do you want that? I don't think so. You know, I personally live a season in my life without the Lord. I think we've all done that a time or two. It was awful. It's, 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 you don't get anything right. You, you, the consequences come to you. No. You make wrong decisions. And I've, I've been there too. You know, I, uh, I still work on myself every day. Yeah, me too. You know, but uh, the more we remember God, you know, the more we train ourselves, we're not going to forget him. Correct. That's why reading the Bible constantly 
and especially at least once a week coming to church to pay our respects to God. Some people say, well, God is with me. I don't need to go to church. Yes, you do. Because that will be a great reminder to you and your family. You know, what kind of example are you setting for your children, your descendants, and the rest of the family? People that see you and know that you are great or whatever, they want to see you going to church to be close to God. And you, need, and you want to be around believers. You want to be encouraged. You want to hear the music. You know, uh, over and over and over, you know, we, we get into these habits of backsliding and we forget. You know, I don't need to go to church. I'm fine. But when you get there, you have a great time and you start to feel the presence of the Lord. And, you, and you know, you're saying to him, Lord, I don't forget you. True. And I want to give you one more scripture. This is coming from Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If you openly say Jesus is my Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That is the only requirement, my friend. And I'm going to let my brother Chance to invite you to give your heart to the good Lord. I invite anyone. When I got saved, I remember that to this day. I invite anyone out there that, that wants to get on their knees. Wants, I don't care where you're at or what you're doing. Read this prayer. It's that simple. We want you to be saved. Eternity is a long time. But this, Paul said, this life's like a mist. So keep remembering God. Keep coming close to him. Just pick up your Bible. Read one verse a day. That's all we're asking. It's just one step of faith. And the Lord says, I'm with you. It doesn't matter how many times you have failed, my friend. It doesn't matter. And we are not here to point fingers towards anybody. You know, when I do this, you know, one finger goes in the direction and three fingers come to me. That's, that, that's a very smart. You know, that, you know, it's not what we are doing. We actually, we are inviting you to change. And we hope that you will change, that you will give your, la your life to the good Lord. And, uh, well, if you are wondering what's next... Well, the next thing that you should do once you give your life to the Lord is to be part of a church. Find a local church where you can be happy with other believers, get baptized, connect with the pastor, be part of a group, get new friends, serve God, and start your new life. You know, that's what's next. But of course, if you are asking me what we do, what do we do here in Victory Church? Well, tomorrow we will be here broadcasting another program like this at the same time. 8 p.m. in the East Coast, 7 p.m. in Glorious, Texas, and 5 p.m. in the West Coast. Thank you, my brother Chance, for being here today. Thank you for allowing me to be here. It's my pleasure, sir. Thank you so much. It was great to see you here. And I want to remind you one more time about our fundraiser. If you want to help us to improve our equipment, please go on your browser to vchurch.us forward slash give. Or text to 432-268-0007. Specify the amount and the system will take you through. And finally, the reminder of the most recent audiobook, Yorktown. Go to the website mygiancarlo.com. This is a terrific CIA story that we hope that you will enjoy. From Odessa, Texas, we say to you, thank you, friends. It was a pleasure to have you here with us tonight. Thank you, Chance, one more time. Thank you, and be blessed, everyone. Thank you for watching Victory Church. Please feel free to contact us. Our email address is info at vchurch.us, and our phone number is 432-614-9798.